Well, I guess I fucked up my own intro building this tent here, eh? But on the other side of that is the Corvette we're working on today. So as much as change on this Corvette, this is not a complete restoration. The previous owner had already absolutely butchered this thing. With a lot of damage, a lot of neglect. So one of the things the original owner did was blow the original motor up, and then they rebuilt it with hopes and dreams and silicone. So this is actually the original motor out of the Corvette. This is being stripped down and used for a different project. So there's a fully custom built Chevy 350 in here. Came out of a Camaro. The Camaro um, was a street car for a guy who was big into drag cars. So it should, in theory, make about 400 horsepower. All this motor's never been dynoed, but it's built to the specs that should make about 400 to the crank. Another thing the driver did was, it's a big dude, so he literally broke the frame of the original seat. So those were gone, the foam was toast. Which brings me to these. Pretty familiar looking seat. I think I mentioned it in the truck video that I found out about these seats because my dad got them for my mom's Corvette. So he bought these before I bought them for the truck. I just uh, worked fast on him, got mine in first. So as you can see, literally exactly the same seat. These came from Princess Auto. They're super limited stocks. So if you check their website right now, they won't be there. For any American viewers watching this, Princess Auto is like literally our Harbor Freight. I think it's owned by the same pair of companies. So um, super limited run. Whenever they get these in stock, there aren't many of them. So now the challenges I face with this car are not at all unique to this car. There's gonna be a clearance issue here. Obviously where I have it sitting right now, it clears. Both my parents are significantly shorter than me, so they their head actually doesn't go above the top of the seat, so that'll be fine for them. The bigger issue is going to be the width. As much as they're super long, they're not very wide cars in the interior, so we're having an issue running into here. But this is what I've got so far. I already went ahead and did my cardboard aided design. So we've got the original chassis holes. You have a plate there bolted on. As you can see, it needs to be bent at that crease there. 10 degrees down, it's gonna be 170 degree bend. Similar thing to this side, thinner strip out of two inch, same bend, bolted in this side, clearance a little bit because I think the carpet's gonna be much thicker and I wanna leave room for that. So that'll be there. And then this piece is the driver top, left, right. So with spacers because of that drop as well as the drop on this side, I've added spacers, but that it's going to be a two inch plate across the back, approximately there, give or take. So there's going to be the four pedestals, which is not actually that far off of what was originally in this vehicle. I can show you those brackets in a second. And then the rails on the seat are going to be welded directly to these. So it'll be essentially like bolting the whole seat itself directly to the car. We're doing that because we can't really have any plate in between this raising up every millimeter really matters we've even had to drop the spacers out of the rails and i was originally going to modify the original bracket but that's not going to work we need it as low as possible which is why i'm bolting it and bending it to sit flat so i wasn't kidding when i said these weren't far off from the original like even this side is pretty much the same the only problem was there was a raise in these rails as opposed to the slight angled drop I needed of these ones. One of the most obvious changes we did was combining the two rear bolting points into one strip that will also weld the two rails together. And this one here had to be twice as wide because the rails of the original seat were wider than the new seats. So I needed to weld it on over here as opposed to in line with the bolt, like it would have been here. The easy thing is for the passenger side of the car, this piece is the same, just flipped, and I need to cut a section out of it. This piece is also the same, just flipped, and there's only slight modifications needed, so I have a different template for the other side.
really the only issue we ran into was this piece was just too deep to fit in the vise, so I had to use two pieces of metal and just whack the hell out of it. But somehow managed to first try, get both of these bent exactly the same, 10 degrees down, ground the small notch out of there, took 60 grit to it, knocked all the uh, slag off there. Also put a slight bend in the end of this, just so it swoops back up underneath this. I have this loosely bolted in here and that placed on top where it needs to be, so I'm going to tack that first. Then I'm going to put the bar across the back so that I know that the seat is uh, sitting level. So you can see there why I had to add a slight bend to the end of that plate just to snug it up against the bottom of that rail there. So I'll be able to get a better weld on it. Oh, fuck me. There we go. Oh. Fuck. and it works miserable angle I have that tacked on the front there kind of ugly but it'll be cleaned up and final welded but now that that's tacked on it's going to hold it more or less in place I was able to bolt that underneath underneath with the necessary spacers I'm going to throw a bolt in here and then I can slide everything forward and weld both of them back there so I haven't been filming too much because this has been nothing short of a son of a bitch, but on the bright side, I've welded across the top there. That's definitely enough to hold it for now. I'm gonna pop this off, weld the bottom as well. Oh yeah, this is fucking a miserable fucking Holy shit. As you saw in that clip, that was a fucking huge pain in the ass, but there we go. Alright, well, hey, fuck you. There we go. Tucked in. Having a great time. Excuse my hat head, but uh, I mean she's in there. I I don't fit. <laughs> I definitely don't fit. I got this thing all the way reclined back, and I'm slouching pretty hard, but it's in. I'm just gonna do that for today. Passer side will do tomorrow. Hopefully I've figured everything out that I need to figure out. Passer side will go smooth. <laughs>